Fish Flies. What we're going to be tied today is a uh, wee damsel pattern, but uh, as we say, this is a fly with a twist, literally. What we're going to be tying is a woven green damsel nymph that's been used on the lakes around Ireland uh, last year with very good results. So without further ado, let's tie the green woven damsel nymph all the way down the hook. Look at that to there. What we're going to be doing next is tying in the tail. What I'm using is the fluid parts on an old hen, hen, hen hackle. So just tie that in, pinch and loop a couple of times just to set them in. Trim off the waist. Right, next thing we're going to do is the body. As I said before, we're going to be using a weaving technique. And what we use is emerald green and silver wire. Set it on the top, just short of the eye of the hook. Fetch it on the top, secure it, come back a couple of turns. And then what we do, touching turns, come all the way up the hook. What we're actually doing is just securing all that wire and putting a good base for doing the weave. Bring them up. And what we have to do is, we have to tie off. You can't do the weave if you've got this hanging around. So what we do, the wire that comes towards you is the one that always goes over. The wire going to the back is the one that goes underneath. So the green's going to be on top, the silver underneath. So here we go with the weave. Hold him, silver wire under, green wire over. Silver wire under, green wire over. And you're just doing this. Over, under, over, under. So what we need to do on this one here now is just take the weave just over three quarters of the way up the hook, like so. Always make sure you have plenty of wire. There's nothing worse than trying to weave with a short piece of wire. This here gives you plenty of scope to manoeuvre. So once we get to here, that's as far as I need to go. One twist, you can let it go, nothing's going to happen. Trim that off. What you can see now on this here, you've got the green on the upper and the silver on the lower. Next thing we're going to do is just tie in the silk again. Right, what we're going to need, need now is for a wing casing. And what I'm going to be using is a peacock tinsel. Peacock one side, copper the other. And what we've got to do is just Put the copper facing upwards, catch him in, and secure that into him. For the thorax, what we're using, I'm using insect green dubbing with blister. So we'll just dub that onto the thread. Catch him on, turn the dubbing up. We're going to pay you want to leave a wee gap because what we're going to be doing next is doing the legs. Uh, for the legs on this, uh, all we need is a hem hackle. Strip off the flues. Get them like so. Catch that in. Pull back a few of the fibres, tie it in, that just locks that hackle into place. Trim that off. On this here, three or four turns of the hackle is more than enough. Straight them back. One, two, three. 
bring the thread, secure that in. Hold the hackles back, secure them good and proper. What we do next is bring this over. You see that divides that into two halves. Just strength with strength with them out. Hold them good and tight. Secure it in. Trim off the waist. Build up the head. Once you're happy enough with the head, whip finish. Here we go, fairly, fairly simple fly, very, very little materials to keep it floating. With the woven wire there, that's going to give the, the weight for the fly to get down good and deep. So I'm happy enough with that, and I'll be using that in the next couple of weeks. So there we go, that's my version of the damsel, uh, damsel nymph, the green woven wire damsel nymph. As we say over here, happy wrappings.